Hello everybody, welcome. As you know, my topic today is temperature and pressure behavior in hydrogen refueling stations for heavy vehicles. But before we go ahead, a first short look to the agenda. So I got two main topics. One is the concept of the hydrogen refueling station. I will talk about the a short overview, the assembly groups we need for the hydrogen refueling station, as well as the operation modis we got. Furthermore, the second main topic is the temperature and pressure behavior during the refueling. Here I will talk about the exemplary refueling in a fuel bus and in, in a fuel cell bus and the thermodynamic behavior um, of the different pressure vessels. So let's start with the concept of the hydrogen refueling station. As you can see here in figure one, you have several hydrogen sources to be uh, to use for the hydrogen supply. Like, for example, you can use hydrogen delivered by a trailer or you can use uh, the renewable energy um, for the on-site production with the electrolyzer or more or less you can lose, use the LOHC technique as well. Independent of the source of hydrogen, we always use the compressor unit to compress the hydrogen in on-site pressure vessels up to a pressure of 500 bar. For the refueling itself, we use a, a dispenser unit with a, a cooling unit as well, and we prefer the overflow principle. For the next slides, I'm always talking about uh, the trailer supply. So, like I said, the slide before, the whole hydrogen refueling station consists of different assembly groups and it's quite important that they all fit together to get a technical and cost efficiency way to run or to operate the hydrogen refueling station. The configuration is depending on the, refuel the requirements of the hydrogen refueling station. As you can see here, the amount of hydrogen per day or week, the refueling time, as well as the amount of back-to-back -back refuelings. Furthermore, there are requirements of the site, like the provided footprint, as well as the delivery concept from our uh, customer or the avail availability of hydrogen. We got different modis for the hydrogen refueling station concept. The first modi is the refueling modi. Here we can use two different ways to refuel, for example, the bus. First, we can use the hydrogen from the trailer to the bus via overflow. And the second one is we can use our high pressure vessels to refuel the bus via overflow. A second modi would be the backup modi. For example, if there's the, the pressure is lower than needed for the overflow principle, we can use the hydrogen from the trailer and the compressor unit to refill the bus, for example. Or the same, if the pressure level is too low in the hydrogen bank, we can use the compressor unit to refill the bus as well. There's a third modi, I will call it a refreshment modi. It's normally during standby, so if there's no bus refueling ongoing, for that reason, Again, if there's a low level in one of our um, pressure vessels, for example, in the trailer, we can use the compressor unit and bring the hydrogen into a higher pressure in the HP bank, or we can make a shuffle mode. So we use the, the hydrogen from a low pressure bank over the compressor to bring it up to a higher pressure level. Now let's come to the temperature and pressure behavior during the refueling. So here you can see um, this one should symbolize our hydrogen refueling station. If there's coming a bus, the first thing is that the bus is connected to the dispenser unit via a nozzle and we have to find out the SOHC level, so the stage of state of charge, the temperature and the pressure inside the bus. Here in this uh, model I said, okay, it's about 35%, which means 107 bar at 15 degrees. And the target is to reach 
95% SOHC. The hydrogen refueling station is now doing a continuous check which one is the most efficient way to refuel the bus. The software is now saying, okay, if the hydrogen is coming from the trailer, this one would be the most efficient way. The software switches all the, the valves to the trailer and we start the refueling. So now here you can see the temperature and pressure behavior in the fuel cell bus. There's always a, a stop criteria. For example, it's the, the pressure, the temperature, or the mass flow. So after, like here, 125 seconds, one of the stop criteria uh, were reached, and the system, the software of the hydrogen refueling station is again checking which one is the most um, efficiency way to refuel the bus. Furthermore, let's, let's have a short look to, to the um, behavior in the H2 trailer. So here you can see the pressure and temperature drop in the trailer during the, the refilling of the bus. Now we switch to the HP bank because this is the next most efficiency way. The software is telling us, okay, we need the HP bank number one. We open the valves and the refueling is ongoing. We reached again a stop criteria, like I said, temperature, pressure, or, or mass flow. One limit is reached. Here, after 375 seconds, and we reached 380 bar at 65 degrees, and we still not reached the 95% SOHC, which was our target, but we are almost there at 93%. Now you can see really good the temperature behavior in the in the bus during refueling. The behavior in the pressure bank one is inverse to the pressure behavior in the in the fuel bus. So here we got a, a deep temperature decrease from uh, 15 degrees up to 7 and from 500 bar up to 434 bar. Again, the system, uh, the, so, the, so, uh, the software tries to find out the most efficient way to refuel the bus. Now we would refill from the uh, HP bank number two. We open the valve again. It's the same like uh, in the sequence before. But now we reach the, the end value of 95% at a temperature of 67 degrees and 415 bar after 470 seconds. To have a short look, the behavior from bank two again, here, because it's just a slow amount of hydrogen which was used for the last uh, 2%, we came from 500 bar and 15 degrees again to 489 bar and 14 degrees. Now the bus, bus reached its end target and go to the next round. Last but not least, I would like to discuss not only the temperature behavior during refueling, also the temperature behavior if we have a back-to-back -back refueling, for example. So here you can see the pressure behavior during refueling, for example, for 10 back-to-back -back refuel processes. You have to read the diagram from the front to the back. So we always need, doesn't matter if we refuel just one bus or some buses in back to back, we always need several um, pressure vessels to refill the whole bus. And to the, on the length, the buses one, two, up to, up to 10, you can see the pressure drop in each vessel during the refueling. The same for the temperature behaviors. You can see here in this slide number, or in this figure number 10. Here you have not to read it from the front to the back. Here it's more important to read it from the left to the right side because you can see the pressure behavior which is ongoing from one um, refueling to the next one. And as you can see, we easily reach uh, the limit of 15 degrees in our pressure vessels. So the most important thing for you is to get a good um, and efficiency hydrogen refueling station, you always have to think about the temperature and pressure behaviors, not only in the, in the bus tank, but also in our on-site storage vessels. 
Thank you. If you have any further questions. Thank you very much, Andrea Stahl. Are there any questions from the audience? Okay, then uh, let me have the first one. I'm just wondering, um, who are your clients? You, you showed, but do, can you show uh, or explain some examples from the market? Yeah, normally, like, like here, because I, I made the um, example with the buses, because we got a, a project in Cologne right now, in a consortium. The, the guys uh, um, we are working together are companies next to Cologne, and we make this uh, hydrogen refueling station in a, in a big consortium, and we are able to refuel 20 buses per day. Thank you very much. For the questions from the audience? If not right now and you want to discuss the topic any further later on, please go to the booth. It's booth D621 in this direction. Thank you again for your time. Thank you.